Hello, I'm Philip Duncan with your global top 10 weather extremes for Wednesday, the last Wednesday of September 2021. And we're tracking quite a few systems and we kick off number one with Typhoon Mindul, which is in the Western Pacific Ocean. The good news is it's likely to remain out at sea, but this is a major storm. It's the largest storm on the planet by quite a bit. And even though we've got Hurricane Sam in the Atlantic, which we'll show you in a moment, Hurricane Sam is quite a bit smaller than this one. So this storm's likely to be tracking out at sea, but will get close to Japan. In fact, it's already impacting some parts of Japan and over the next 24 hours you'll notice the winds picking up and the waves as well along the eastern coastline and in fact all the way down the island chain. So Mindil at the moment well at least later on today will have winds averaging 193 kilometers an hour which is you know well over 110 miles an hour and the gusts to 240 so this is a major system um, a super typhoon but it is likely to stay out at sea, although if I was in Tokyo, I'd be still keeping a close eye on it just in case it moves a little bit closer and brings in severe weather for you. Number two now, this is Hurricane Sam. So it is smaller. You can notice that straight away um, as it moves very close to the Caribbean. The good news again with this storm also likely to curve away and go out into open waters, although very close to these island nations. Um, and again, you'll, you may notice some of the outer bands coming through with a bit of cloud. Uh, the seas certainly picking up as the swells start to push in, the big waves coming in from that storm offshore. So category four, when we recorded this out of a maximum of five. Uh, category four, sustained winds at 225 kilometers an hour. That's about 120 miles an hour, so very, very strong. And then 266 kilometer an hour gusts. So a very intense storm. But again, mostly out at sea, but Cat 3 right next to Bermuda means Bermuda needs to keep a very close eye on that storm. Number three on our list, we're actually tracking in number three all the tropical storms at the moment. So take a look at the four storms around the Pacific, uh, around the Atlantic, sorry. We've got Sam, we've got another one up here just near Bermuda, and another two down here that are got a 60% chance of becoming a hurricane. So pretty active with those four storms in the Atlantic. And then over in the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean, we've got four. Mindil, the one we just covered, another depression out at sea, and two storms coming in here for India. Um, this one potentially could get a bit stronger, but once they make landfall, it's a little bit hard to sort of see them picking up a lot of steam. So takes, that takes us to number four and over to India, where we've got these two tropical storms coming through at the moment, one on the eastern side and the other on the western side. A lot of thunderstorms uh, associated with both of them and also the rainfall over the next 24 hours, quite intense. And remember, we just had that tropical storm the other day that tracked right through the central part and sort of fell apart as it approached Mumbai. So this time, the heaviest rain north of Mumbai, where there could be flash flooding, and on the eastern side with all those thunderstorms, and you can see the perfect sort of center to that storm. Uh, again, there could be flooding in this low-lying area. Hopefully a lot of it will just drain out to sea without causing too many problems, but certainly one to keep an eye on. Number five takes us into North America, and we've been tracking a lot of stormy systems up here around Alaska and British Columbia there is still this storm producing some rain for those western areas which is good news and then we've got another area of low pressure uh, that comes into the eastern side of the Rocky Mountains and all the way down to Texas and when you get convergence that's when the two winds meet that's when you're likely to get thunderstorms which we're seeing at the moment around parts of America so Let's take a look at the rain for the next 24 hours and the low up here producing heavy rain into British Columbia, Vancouver, bit of patchy rain into Seattle and Portland. Not as much rain as you might like actually coming into these uh, states which are normally very wet but have been very dry over the last few months. And then you go down to that convergence zone and you can see in Colorado thunderstorms bubbling up all over the state. A couple going into Wyoming, Utah and down into around Arizona and New Mexico but the bulk of them are around Colorado. Now staying with America and going down to the southern states and the Gulf of Mexico. So there's high pressure parked out here just east of Florida. That's encouraging this very humid airflow into the southern states. And so we're seeing a huge amount of thunderstorms and downpours at the moment, all the way from Houston across to New Orleans and into Mobile, Alabama. The Florida Panhandle 
just on the outer edges of it so for now anyway uh, at the moment mostly dry with the high pressure further to the east but watch out for severe thunderstorms flooding that sort of stuff uh, as we see those thunderstorms tracking through the southern states now away from the tropics and up to the cold weather we go back to iceland where we've been featuring iceland quite a bit actually in our videos over the past couple of months uh, we've got a big low right over the top of you at the moment in fact smack bang over the top of iceland pulling down this very windy 100 kilometers an hour 60 mile an hour winds sustained on that line right there and it curves right in to the more populated side of iceland now a close-up of the low pressure zone almost perfectly sits over the top of Iceland. It's quite an amazing picture. And Reykjavik right here, getting slammed by those strong winds and some snow flurries today as well. So the next 24 hours, this is the snow map for Iceland. You can see Reykjavik down here getting some snow flurries and the heaviest snow up along the mountains and the plateau where the totals really do lift quite up, right up. So a good sort of early winter storm coming in for Iceland at the moment. Okay, moving around to the other end of the world, Australia has got low pressure at the moment all around the southeastern corner producing some heavy rain. There could be 50, 60, 70 millimetres of rain falling in areas that have had a fair bit of drought over the last few years, even over the last decade, actually. And so you've got low pressure down in this corner and then a convergence zone up here, again, where the winds are meeting, warm and cold, which produces thunderstorms and high pressure all around the edges of Australia to the south in the Southern Ocean and out to the east in the Tasman Sea. So thunderstorms across Queensland and across New South Wales, just missing the capital of Canberra, uh, but we are seeing plenty of thunderstorm activity through inland areas and the rainfall accumulation quite significant through those inland areas where we could be seeing a little bit of flooding. I don't think it'll be too major, but there are some pretty big downpours coming into places that are dry. So Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane and Canberra all getting affected by those rainmakers at the moment and as you can see for the next 24 hours some big totals here 50 millimeters and another 30 or so coming for Thursday. Moving around the, uh, to the other side and we've got uh, South Africa here with high pressure this is the largest high pressure zone on the planet at the moment stretching all the way from South America across the Atlantic and into southern parts of Africa. So South Africa especially southerlies coming into Cape Town Johannesburg However, has northerlies coming in from the interior, which means we've got convergence and thunderstorms developing around Johannesburg and down towards Durban. That's where the bulk of the rain is. A few thunderstorms here. By the way, the world's largest impact crater from a meteor is just southwest of Johannesburg. Again, that's a flight sim reference. I flew over it the other day on the flight simulator heading down to Cape Town. By the way, Cape Town, not much happening down there. A southeasterly breeze blowing through, but the showers around George, Port Elizabeth and up towards Durban. That's where the bulk of that rain is at the moment, caught up in that southerly and southeasterly flow. But remember, it's a northerly up here around Johannesburg. And number 10 on our list, sticking with high pressure, is up around Russia, where we've got this massive zone of high pressure stretching all the way down into to Kazakhstan, all the way around to the Ukraine and Belarus, all affected by it. And by the way, here's um, the UK and Ireland, and out to sea, there's another big high pressure zone, which is also impacting Spain and France and other areas. It's a little bit windy in the south of France at the moment, but apart from that, pretty settled. The only area of low pressure that zone there in the English Channel. And that is all from me for today. The image of the day has to go to Super Typhoon Mindul, and this is a close-up of the center of it, showing the calm conditions in the middle, and then those damaging destructive winds all around the outer edges of it. So that is a major storm, but thankfully, and hopefully, it remains out at sea. That's all from me. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back again on Friday with our next Global Top 10 Weather Extremes.